Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year and Happy New Decade. I have been away from YouTube for, for a while. Um, life has been busy, work, the holidays, but I have been collecting some things that I have purchased really over the last five months since my birthday trip to Paris over the summer. I decided that I wanted to unbox these and put this on my YouTube channel, but I just never got around to doing a video for it. So I have a mega haul unboxing. So a lot of these pieces I have not seen since I purchased them. So it's going to be new for me as well. Hopefully I won't be disappointed and you won't be disappointed either. So the first thing I am going to unbox are a few things that I have purchased from Fashion File. The first one is a little bit of a cheat. I actually did open this already because I got this most recently and I really wanted the calendar. And as always, Fashion File this time of year adds calendars and I was needing it because I didn't have a new one for 2020. So it came in this box got my thank you card, my receipt information, little cute um, dust bag, which I find these really helpful to keep straps in. And as you can see, this is an Hermes Twilly. If you can't tell from the box, that's what the Twillies come in. And this one is one of the Paris uh, 25, uh, 24 Faubourg. You can see Place de la Vendôme fountain here and just other things that make you think Paris. This is the Rive Droite, Rive Gauche, in the um, pearl gray, blue, and pale yellow. I think that this will look really pretty on some of the handles on my bags. This next box got the ubiquitous file. More cards. I actually, I've been toss, tossing these in the recycling, but every once in a while, when I don't have a coaster, they work great as coasters. Used is the new new. Love Fashion Files mottos. And as you can see, one of the lovely little Louis Vuitton drawer cases. And when we open it up, got the fashion file dust bag as well as a Louis Vuitton dust bag. I like that even when the pieces come with their own dust bags, fashion file still includes their own. It's really kind of nice. You can never have too many dust bags in my opinion. This is to reveal a piece that I have been looking for for the last year actually. And this is the multi-clay in the Dame Bean with the Rose Ballerine. As you can see, this was a made in France piece. It's a six ring key holder, pretty good condition, tiny bit of wear on the button, but that's not a big deal. This is gonna go great with my Damier Ben Neverfull in the Rose Ballerine and my Rosalie coin purse that I picked up earlier this summer. More fashion file receipts, another file. It is really nice having all these files though. I kind of keep them everywhere. You never know. And they actually work pretty well 
if you have some rough spots on your feet. Now this is a Chanel piece. Again, in a Fashion File dust bag. Has its own Chanel dust bag, as well as the little info care case, or care info. And this is and this is the Chanel Iridescent Caviar Quilted Card Holder in that beautiful iridescent blue, iridescent dark blue is what they actually called it. It has one, two, three outer slip pockets and then one larger. It is the 27 series, which was from earlier this year or actually earlier last year, 2019, in the Champagne Gold Hardware. This is a wonderful addition to my already existing collection of this particular colorway that Chanel did. I'm really excited to have this piece. I love these little card hold, flat card holders. They work so well in mini bags and are large enough to carry the essentials and really work great with the small card holders if you have extra things that you need to carry or if you need to carry cash. My final piece from Fashion File another file This too is, as you can see, a Louis Vuitton piece, drawer, dust bags galore. No excuse to have anything just kind of lying around. And this, I took advantage of the Black Friday 10% off sale and picked up another rosary, rosary. I picked up another Rosalie coin purse with the in the monogram with the fuchsia interior has one two three slip pockets a large compartment here as well as a zip pocket for coins or cash Ooh, even comes a little coated fabric cowhide leather but tag I wanted this piece to go along with my other monogram fuchsia pieces I have the zippy card holder which I'm thinking I might get rid of but I'm not quite sure I also have a larger Jean wallet in this colorway and I really enjoy having matching pieces if you can't tell already. <laughs> These next three pieces I actually purchased at the Louis Vuitton boutique at the Saks here in Indy and shout out to my CA Char. She was really wonderful, helped me in procuring these pieces, did a great job of giving me a call when they got in, holding it for me, and I was able to get there within 24 hours and pick these pieces up. And a couple of them I was really, really hoping for. So the first one is a Christmas animation piece. And this is Vivienne in Paris. I know a lot of other people have done these unboxings with these Christmas animation pieces, but I thought this was a great piece for me, very sentimental because of the fact that I spent a milestone birthday in Paris. And so to have this piece really means a lot. It has that beautiful, I've got it stuffed here, beautiful red interior. And I had been looking for a mini pochette in the dummy bean forever and 
waiting for one to come in to the boutique, but nothing. So when the Christmas animation photos came out and I saw that one of them was a dummy bean and it was Vivienne in Paris, I absolutely knew that I needed it. This next piece is another one from the Saks LV Boutique. And this one has a drawstring. Was, I think this is my, well, no, I take that back. I have some of the drawstrings and the bigger ones. But again, Char was awesome called me when this came in. I had been looking for it for a while, loved my 19 toiletry, and was able to pick up the 15, which is great. This one is made in Spain. It's gonna be perfect for traveling or to stick cosmetics in my handbag. It has that beautiful wipeable interior. Here's the fabrication, and here's the info. So another frequently sought after piece, and I'm really lucky to have picked this one up. And my final LV piece was again Char coming through for me. Uh, this actually came in a couple of weeks after or maybe even a, yeah, a couple of weeks after I got the Christmas animation piece. And Char called me, asked me if I was still interested, and absolutely yes. This is the, again, mini a pochette in the Damier Bean. They so rarely get these pieces anymore in the boutiques, so I definitely wanted to jump on it. This one, if you can tell, it's made in France. I just really love having matching pieces to go along with my speedies. And so this will go great with my speedy bandolier 25. There's the info if anybody's interested. That beautiful red textile interior. And I like that this one is a good workhorse because the Christmas animation is super special. I don't know that I'd wanna be going and using that on an everyday basis. My other mini pochette in the LV monogram is a constant staple in my handbags and I'm going to love being able to switch it out. So my latest mini pochette and I'm super excited to have this in my collection. Now for the piece de resistance, this is a piece that I am super excited to add to my collection. I had received some photos of it from my essay down in San Antonio at the Neiman Marcus, Isabel. Shout out to her. She, I've been working with her for years now and she has been a great resource for me for pieces that I have really wanted and she's always kept her eyes out for me um, for pieces that she would know that I would be interested in like and so when this came in she called she let me know and um, I had to check where I was with my funds but luckily I was able to pull it off so I did take the ribbon off um, but I decided to wait to actually open it on camera. I love the pleated tissue paper. To reveal, not a classic flap obviously because it's in one of the black fabric, not the white shiny ones. To reveal my mini cocoa handle in this beautiful cavi eh, it's calfskin 
it's a caviar type of leather. I don't know if they would call it caviar, but it's that grained calf skin with silver hardware. And it's great because it's got four feet. Has the little Mona Lisa pocket in the back. I actually take this box away. Top, top handle. Actually, is this silver hardware or is this, this might be like a shiny ruthenium. Actually, I think it is. I think this is the shiny ruthenium. Let me see if she, here's the strap. I love having this leather piece there. Makes it so much more comfortable. And you attach one end here and the other end here. So this isn't a crossbody, but it is a comfortable shoulder length. When you open it up, take the stuffing out just a nice inside and has a slip pocket and then another slip pocket and then the um, zippered pocket. Oh, it is ruthenium. Okay. So this is from the 19K collection, as you can see. and it is the purple. I am so excited to add another Chanel bag, a Chanel mini bag. Love these little Chanel minis um, to my collection. And this is so nice and sturdy, sits beautifully, and I can't wait to wear it. I think it's gonna look great with not only winter outfits, right now, but also as I move into the spring and summer, it is such a bright, fresh color. It was the Pantone color of the year several years ago, but as some of you may have been able to tell, I am a diehard purple lover. If that is a video that you would be interested in seeing, or if there are any other requests of videos that you would like to see from me, please leave that in the comment section. And if you are interested in these types of videos, unboxings, what fits in my bag, and some other content that I will be creating and introducing in the coming months, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications on all my new videos. And again, have a wonderful and blessed new year. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.